Street. Yes, tonight's the big night. Lunar lovers in the Americas, they've been waiting years for this. Um, a highly anticipated celestial event, thanks to the alignment of the sun, earth, and moon, keeping their eyes at the sky after several years uh, for a celestial event like this to, uh, to return. Wasn't the background behind us really cool? Beautiful. Very cool. Love all of it. Space. All of it, all of it. March's full blood moon, yes, blood moon, is making a dramatic appearance tonight with a total lunar <laughs> eclipse. Take a look at NASA's prediction on when the lunar eclipse will reach totality. Now, the last time we get to got to see this weather phenomenon, it was um, this phenomenon was back in 2022. It's been years, right? Yes. It NASA has. project scientist Dr. Noah Petro joins us now. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Petro, thank you for being with us. So, this relationship that we have between the lunar eclipse and mm -hmm. and the blood moon, uh, let's just yep. briefly talk about what gives us that that almost blood reddish hue on the lunar surface. Well, thank you, Stephen Marissa. Yeah, no, the, the, the blood moon, the red moon, is caused by this amazing alignment between the Earth, moon, and sun. When the Earth passes between the moon and the sun precisely, the shadow of the Earth falls across the face of the moon. That shadow makes the moon turn a little bit red. That's because every sunrise, every sunset on the Earth at that moment in time is projected onto the lunar surface. So when you see the blood moon, what you're really seeing is an extension of our home planet onto the lunar surface. So it's this really special, unique relationship between the three objects, the Earth, Moon, and Sun, um, evident for our naked eyes. And one of the things we just mentioned was totality, right? So how are you able to determine or at least measure when this eclipse will reach that moment of totality? It, it, the, every math teacher has told you this, you know, it's, it's the application of math. Tomorrow's Pi mm -hmm. Day. We use trigonometry, we use geometry to predict when these events will happen. We can predict the orbit of the Moon quite precisely now. And so we can forecast exactly when, you know, unlike weather forecasts where there's so many variables, the real variable here is just that alignment of the Earth and the Moon and the Sun. And so we can predict exactly when the Earth Moon will pass into the Earth's shadow. And again, for, for the East Coast, that uh, beginning of totality starts around 109, peaks about 90 minutes later. And so what you really want to do is find yourself a spot to be outside away from tall buildings and away from bright lights. Um, and you know, cast your eyes to the sky and enjoy the show. Let's hope that the uh, the clouds are clear, right? That's been the job of, of us, trying to keep the weather yeah. forecast <laughs> cooperating, Dr. Petro. Um, I know we're pressed for time, but lunar eclipses uh, mm -hmm. across Earth, they happen a few times a year, one or two times. What about total <laughs> lunar eclipses? Because that's different than the partial. Right, yeah, total lunar eclipses, when we get this blood moon, those are rare. We haven't, as you said, had one for several years. We won't have another one like this one, where the breadth of the country, in fact, North America and South America will have uh, the total view of the eclipse won't happen until 2048. So this eclipse is definitely one to get up early for or stay up late for and enjoy, because we won't have another one like this for quite some time. It's something to look forward to. And also, mm -hmm. I did not make the connection that tomorrow is Pi Day. I, I, I How don't that's know. happening. I know. And every time somebody mentions it, I just instantly get hungry. <laughs> but the appreciation for <laughs> math as well so. is critical, yeah. Circles matter, right? Yes, Our spheres are yeah. so Absolutely. important. Well, really appreciate the, uh, the insight there. We're looking forward to it, and we'll cross our fingers. Clear skies across. What's also nice about these lunar eclipses is that you have more time than a total solar eclipse, because that's a lot faster. Mm -hmm. You're waiting on that disk. NASA Project scientist Dr. Noah Petro, thanks for joining us this morning. Morning. Thanks for having me on. Right.